Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I have a warning video here. I'm going to read to you guys this article. I think this is pretty important, especially if some of you guys have received this, that way you'll know what to do. The title of this article is Agricultural Warfare. People are receiving mysterious unsolicited packages of seeds in the mail from China. Now this could be very dangerous, ladies and gentlemen, goodness gracious. It seems like people all over the United States are receiving packages from China and maybe other parts of the world that have seeds in them. And the problem with that, without having read the article yet, is that I think that if you plant something that's bad for your area, that becomes evasive, it can ruin other crops. At least that's what I'm thinking, but let's go ahead and read the article. Just when you thought tensions between the U.S. and China couldn't get any stranger in the midst of of the ongoing global, global uh, health crisis, American, Americans across the country are starting to report receiving unsolicited packages of different types of seeds that they didn't order and don't know anything about at their door. The return address on the package is always from China. The Washington State Department of Agriculture wrote about the phenomenon on their Facebook page on July 24, 2020 and said that the seeds are being shipped in packaging that identifies the contents as jewelry. And here's a picture of uh, a couple of the packages that have been received with some seeds. Unsolicited seeds could be invasive, introduce the seeds to local plants, or be harmful to livestock, the post says. Facebook users have been adding photos in the comments section of the post, sharing photographs of seeds they have received from China. It is not a joke. I got some the other day, one user commented, stating that the package identified the contents as a rose flower stud earring. Looks like all across the country, stated an Indiana resident who also received seeds in the mail unsolicited. At least 40 residents in Utah were said to have been mailed the unsolicited packages, according to the Daily Mail. The Kansas Department of Agriculture and the Arizona Department of Agriculture also addressed the phenomenon as they did the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry who said, quote, right now we are uncertain what types of seeds are in the package. Out of caution, we are urging anyone who receives a package that was not ordered by the recipient to please call the LDAF immediately. We need to identify the seeds to ensure they do not pose a risk to Louisiana's agricultural industry or the environment. Imagine that, ladies and gentlemen, that is a very peculiar type of warfare. You can call it seed warfare. <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone knows right now if these seeds could be harmful, but why would people be receiving unsolicited mail from China that says they are being shipped jewelry and then inside there are seeds. I mean, think about it. Even if they throw these in the garbage and they, they land in a landfill or something and these seeds spread, who's to know what these seeds could do to our crops here, our native crops here in the United States? Th this is kind of scary to tell you the truth. There have been similar reports from Virginia's Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. The seeds have yet to be identified but officials speculate that the seeds may be of an invasive plant species and are advising residents not to use them. Taking steps to prevent their introduction in the most effective method of reducing both the risk of invasive species infestations and the cost and control and mitigate those infestations. And here on a tweet, the VDACS states, Public asked to report receipt of any unsolicited packages of seeds. And here's another sample of some seeds that they are being shipped. And then these are some tweets right here. Uh, we have received two of those packages here in Indiana, one from China and one from Kyrgyzstan. So you see they're coming from more places than just China. It says here, the Washington State Department of Agriculture has advised people on his Facebook page, do not plant them if they are in seal packaging as in the photo below, do not open the sealed packages. This is known as agricultural smuggling. Report it to USDA and maintain the seeds and packaging until USDA instructs you what to do with the packages and seeds. They may be needed as evidence. 
Anyone who has received seeds in the mail can report them to the United States Department of Agriculture by visiting their website here. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Just another, you know, unfortunately, I think we're we're heading into a cold uh, WAR, you know, with uh, this country, with China. And uh, it looks like they're, you know, coming up with some ideas that I've never heard of. I've never heard of seed warfare, but that's probably what it is. You introduce an invasive species into another country's ag agriculture, and then what that's going to do is it's going to hinder that country. It's going to hinder their agriculture. It's, it doesn't mean that we're going to have to stop production of anything, but it's going to be a lot more costly to maintain what we are growing and to grow it to begin with. So I hope that they get a hold of this and that they stop it at its root. And I really hope that the people that have received these seeds, that they haven't been planting them. Let's just hope not. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and read an email that I got. I'm not going to say who this person was that emailed me this because she wanted to keep her privacy. And I absolutely respect that. But what this email is going to entail is just asking everyone in our community to please Send positive thoughts, positive energies, send your prayers to this beautiful person who's trying the best that she can uh, after suffering a very bad injury. And I'm going to read this really quick because that way you can know exactly what it's about. And she writes, about three months ago, I fell and received some terrible injuries, resulted in many broken bones, several surgeries, long stay in a hospital, and I am home now in major pain. I cannot stand without aid, cannot do any cooking or housework, cannot even do basic hygiene without help. I am blessed. I will heal in time and am able to read, use a computer, talk on the phone, and aspirin takes care of most of the pain. Today I tried to go grocery shopping and could not use the electric cart. I ran into shelves, displays, got it stuck several times, and an employee was called to help get the cart back. I was ready to cry, then remembered that this was the first time in three months that I had been in public. Therefore, it was a victory. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this person is not asking for anything except for your prayers. And she stated here that she only wants for the community to pray for her and for her husband. She also has a husband that she's actually caring for because he cannot care for himself as well as she can while she's in all this pain. All right, so I'm gonna reach out to this person and see if there's anything that we can do for her. Uh, I have emailed her back, uh, but she's just asking for prayers and she has mine and she has already had mine. And I am asking for you guys to join together, send this person some good energy so that she can get better soon. And to the person who wrote this email, I just want you to know that I'm praying for you and I have you in my thoughts and I hope that you get better soon. Many blessings to you. Many, many blessings to you. And I truly do hope that you recover in a very speedy fashion. Having said that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining in today. Count your blessings, ladies and gentlemen. And remember to be good to each other. Because when good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is Alaska Prepper. I am out.